how do banks allocate internal cost between departments? So how do banks allocate cost between departments? Some of us don't like the word allocate because that actually seems as if you would be pushing cost through without a well-known cause and effect relationship. But I personally believe that allocate is a very beautiful word as long as you use it in a way that allocating the cost is being based on a cost and effect situation. Well, in any organization, whether it's a bank or a cookie factory, but we'll focus on a bank, uh, there is overhead cost. There is internal cost going through, there is an IT department, there is management, there are things going on that are not really easy to direct attribute to the end product. Well, those costs need to be somehow allocated out to be able to lend them on the end product because you want to have a fully loaded cost price uh, for your end product. Well, how do banks do that? Banks would actually usually look at the uh, type of cost that we're talking about, uh, which can be classified as overhead cost. Say, for example, your HR department. Your HR department, if you would classify that as an overhead cost, but you cannot directly attribute that to a mortgage or a credit card or a consumer lending product. So having that classified as overhead, the only thing you need to do is to figure out what is a correct driver to allocate the cost out that it eventually lands on the product. What is usually being done is that they allocate these costs out based upon in this case, I would say either your headcount or your uh, full-time equivalent numbers, uh, your FTE as we would call that. Um, that is a very normal common driver to allocate them out. That is already quite a cause and effect because every department that is doing direct activities, say for example the front office or the back office in a, in a bank, um, they will have a number of headcount and the number of headcount pretty much drives the activity of the uh, HR department. But some banks go a little bit more sophisticated. They say, okay, but I do not only have a simple driver as headcount or FTE, I know the activities that are being done in my HR department. And the activities, they could be setting up a new contract, having a growth plan for an employee, unfortunately sometimes dismissal of an employee that could be like three of the activities that are being done within HR. And if you would know for the departments that are actually being serviced by HR, the numbers of the growth plans, the number of new contracts, the number of the mis dismissals, then you get a more granular cause and effect relationship of the HR cost. Because you could say, okay, if I have 12 new contracts in my back office, then I could say that the activity of uh, setting up new contracts of the HR department should be allocated out based upon those 12 new contracts. Um, one of the caveats here is that you should at least know then in your HR department how much time and money is being spent on those activities. So you should know from your HR personnel okay, what is the total time spent on or setting up a new contract, total time spent on dismissals, total time spent on growth plans. So you need a little bit more of extra information, but a good manager knows pretty much what his personnel is doing. And moving from a pretty good manager to a very excellent manager, he doesn't only know the time that is spent, he actually knows the normative time that is being spent on setting up a new contract. So he knows a new contract is usually seven hours, 12 new contracts is seven times 12. That's the amount of hours that is needed. So you would have a normative time and that's when you really get cause and effect. If you work with normative times, because then you can actually also calculate the other way around and saying, okay, if there's 12 new contracts in my back office, then I expect to need seven times 12, which is, let us calculate that by heart, is 70 and 14. So that's 84 hours that I need from my HR personnel that are involved in the setting up the new contracts. And that's how you get cause and effect.